it's Hasa and welcome back to another video. The other day I was just laying in bed trying to go to sleep when suddenly I thought what would it be like to be a beanie boo? Like what would it be like to be a tiny cute stuffed animal? And then I started thinking things like if I was a beanie boo what would I look like? And suddenly it hit me. Why don't I just turn myself into a beanie boo? So that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing in today's video ladies and gents. In Photoshop of course. <laughs> So I'm going to be using the app Pixart for this and basically what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take my facial features and Slick's facial features and match them together. Okay, so I'm starting off with this lovely picture of Slick over here. Now it's time to remove her eyes. That sounds really creepy. So I'm going to be using the remove tool. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 Move. That looks so creepy! Oh my gosh! What is that? Okay, now I have to remove her nose also and her mouth. Ah, ta da! Oh my gosh, that's. Yikes! <laughs> so, uh, they're slick with no features, guys. Very cute. Anyways, now we have to add a picture of me. Here's literally just a screenshot from one of my videos. I'm gonna be cutting out my eyes. You know, photoshopping seems really creepy when you talk about it out loud. There we go. Oh my gosh. I really need to make it like nice and big because Beanie Boo eyes are ginormous. Still needs to fit on Slick's face though. I think that's a good size. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm just gonna tint it a little bit. I feel like that should match Slick a little bit better. Okay, now I'm just going to duplicate it and flip it. Mm-hmm. And now we just gotta match it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys, what is this? Ah! Now it's time to do my nose. I think there's pretty good. Okay, and now I'm gonna like size it down. And I think I'm gonna flip it over so that it kind of looks like a triangle, like a Beanie Boo nose. <laughs> and now I'm gonna darken it so that it kind of matches Slick's nose. Now let's turn down the brightness, turn up the contrast. And there we go. That looks pretty realistic, not gonna lie. And now I'm going to cut out my mouth. Okay. <laughs> Let's just put it right on Slick's snout. This is really starting to come together, huh? Now to make this a little more realistic, I'm gonna kind of like blend the features in. I'm basically just gonna color over some parts so that it kind of blends in with like Slick's fur. <laughs> A few moments later. Okay guys, I have blended, I have colored, I have perfected my masterpiece as any artist would do. And now it's time to show you the final product. Ta-da! I am so sorry, Slick. I think this thing is gonna be in my nightmares tonight. I mean, let me know if- <laughs> Let me know if it looks like me. Honestly, this should be my new profile picture, guys. No, just kidding. Before, after. But yeah, this is the combination of me and Slick. Aren't we beautiful? But yeah, I think now I'm gonna edit Ty Warner, aka the creator of Beanie Boos and Beanie Babies. I'm gonna turn him into a Beanie Boo. So let's find a picture of him. I could probably do this one where he's holding a bunch of Beanie Babies. And what Beanie Boo should I do? I think I'm gonna do Turbo, I don't know why. But yeah, let's get editing. Time lapse time! But just like with Slick, the first thing that I had to do was remove Turbo's eyes. And I am still not over how scary Beanie Boos look without eyes, like, <sighs> I also had to remove his nostrils and his little smile. And then I had to grab the picture of Ty Warner that I showed you guys earlier so that I could replace Turbo's eyes with his eyes. Again, that sounds so creepy. But here I am making the eyes proportional to the Beanie Boo. And I also had to tint them green so that they would match Turbo's skin. 
Ah, it's kind of terrifying how realistic this looks, but I think I've come to realize that Beanie Boos just do not mix with human beings. But there I am just blending it so it looks even more realistic, and then I had to duplicate that eye and flip it so that Turbo would have two eyes. Then it was time to give Turbo a mouth, so I had to crop out Ty's mouth from this picture again, and here I am just making sure that it was perfect, and then I kind of stretched it out so it would match where Turbo's mouth was, and it just made it look even scarier, but yeah, then here I am cutting out Ty's nose and just putting it right in the middle of Turbo's snout, and I also tinted that green. Then I went in and blended stuff one more time to make sure nothing was looking rough, but yeah, here I am finishing up my creation, and I would just like to say, Ty Warner, if there's any chance that you're watching this video right now, I am so sorry! Here's Ty Warner as a Beanie Boo, guys! I think we could all agree that this is a very interesting photograph. <laughs> But I love how I spent years learning how to edit photos and Photoshop, and this is what I use it on. Anyways, moving on. My next Photoshop adventure involved a little ostrich poodle that we all know and love. Of course, it was Camilla. Obviously, ostrich poodles don't exist in real life, but I just really needed to answer the burning question of what would Camilla look like if she was real? So I took to Google and I found a picture of an ostrich and a picture of a pink poodle, and I morphed them together. I cut out the head of the poodle and also the tail of the poodle, and I just kind of plopped them on the ostrich, and and this is what came out! I truly wonder if this is what the Beanie Boo designers that created Camilla had in mind when they were making her, cause I mean, what else were they thinking? I also decided to take like the puffy little pink feet of the poodle and just put them onto the ostriches like, what would they be called? Legs? Paws? I don't know. But yeah, this is really hilarious to me. I honestly cannot decide if this is the best or worst thing that I have ever created, but I guess you guys could be the judge of that. But here I am just like refining my edits and making sure that everything was nice and smooth. And then next up, I obviously had to turn the ostrich pink. So I basically just took the brush tool and I lowered the opacity and just colored over the ostrich's body and I made all the feathers pink. Ooh, also guys, comment down below some other Beanie Boo photoshops or edits that you'd want to see me make because I could definitely do another one of these videos because this was honestly super duper fun. But here I am finishing up coloring her and next up, it was time to bring in Camilla and get her eyes and plop them onto the ostrich poodle. <gasps> ah! <laughs> I love that so much! I now present to you Camilla the Beanie Boo in real life. Not gonna lie, I kind of love it. Like, imagine just seeing this just strolling around out in the wild. Wouldn't that be amazing? I mean, a little terrifying, but still amazing. Like, look at that face! Anyways, guys, those were all of the Beanie Boo photoshops that I'm gonna be making today. I hope I didn't give you too many nightmares. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like another video like this, and also let me know which of these photoshops was your favorite. Or least favorite, I guess. But anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and bye bye